All right, recording is rolling. Welcome to Friday, September 8th. Yeah, so you guys just turned into our linear motion take up quiz. Thank you, I'll get those graded over the weekend. Uh, before I flip my screen over, um, because the main thing we're going to do today is look at a classroom that you guys uh, turned in. Right. Oh, you guys do have a, have a book on your desk. You see us, right? That was mostly something to do with my honors students, but I'll show this to you real fast. You guys get to keep a book. Um, so here, here's the, the idea, because in this class, we do a lot of labs, we a lot of do is solving puzzles, we do a lot of graphs, um, but what, what's like an application of the stuff that you learned over the last few weeks that you can do, do uh, uh, something else? Hey, hey, how, how about like animation, right? Let's take a look at this jumpy cat right here with this ball. Yeah, right. so, so if you're an animator, maybe you want to have an animation so that whoever's doing your animation, they, they could, like, they, their, their mind can believe, like, okay, yeah, like, I, I can accept that looks like a, um, like something I can believe, right? You've seen plenty of motion throughout all your years of living, right? So you can see what looks realistic or not, right? Sometimes you might see a movie effect, maybe like a movie is food, but there's something kind of off about that, right? Now that you guys are in this class, now you can start to articulate it, you, you can explain it mathematically. So you can go frame for frame. Every frame might be like some interval of time. You say, well, guys, what, what shape path do the ball and the cat make? A pr parabola, right? Now you guys know that. You say, okay, well, every frame, let's see, I have to put the cat, uh, let's see, there, 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 there's where the ball would go, right? So that's all together, right? right? So let's look at some other ones. We got, um, uh, ooh, that was bow. Here's another parabola. We got, ooh, we got bees. We got uh so this one. Yeah. Look about surfing. Oh, oh we got ah uh, under the sea. All right, so if you wanted to do that, here you go. All right, so you guys got to look like this. Now there is a, you have to cut it. So here's the You guys see the binding on the left? You guys see two staples on the left, the binding? Here's what we did. You got to roll once, roll twice. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that just to see this again. So we did roll once, roll twice. Okay, right, they kind of flatten it out. Then take these heavy duty scissors. You guys got some heavy duty scissors. Chop off about uh, a centimeter on the right. Uh, if you could help me out, just leave the paper shavings on your desk so I can very easily sweep those into the trash can. So uh, not on the floor would be helpful to me. Thank you very much. And then when you unroll it, oh, look at that. You guys get a very nice flip, 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 flip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys there? All right. Oh, what's due on Monday? Chapter three puzzles. And uh, also on Monday, our school photos. So I'm dressed for success. Let's flip my screen over here. Flip screen. All right, I'll show you guys a couple of uh, bonus opportunities. Ooh, I uploaded material called Opportunities last night. Most of these files are things that I've shown you guys in class, like clubs around the school, different opportunities around the school. You guys see most of these things. Uh, there's at least one new one I want to point out. Who wants to win $35,000? Who wants to win $35,000? Oh, all right. So here, here's a new one. I do have a physical printout too. Uh, this is called Voice of Democracy Scholarship Competition, right? So the premise here is you record a three to five minute audio presentation. So you guys are doing a recording, three to five minutes. Uh, the topic is what are the greatest attributes of our democracy? And yeah, $35,000 is the grand prize award. Right, there you go. Oh, another opportunity I posted to Google Classroom. Uh, do you guys remember uh, we've been doing projectiles, right? right? So one thing you can do with projectiles is suppose you take a cannon and you ramp up some angle. And you blast a cannonball at some speed. And you know the gravity field of the planet. Is it, if it's a big flat plane, in principle, can you figure out how far it's going to go before it lands, the horizontal displacement? Right. Now, there's a lot of little steps, right? You have to break that velocity into components. You have to figure out what's the hang time. Say, well, how fast is it going across? Times that hang time. That would bam, tell you exactly where it lands, right? But that's sort of like pre-solved in terms of variables. That all fits into the range equation. You guys remember, let's see if I can dig this up real fast. Ah, you guys remember this range formula right here? Range formula? Right here. Slash on the range formula, right? So it's all embedded in that. You can plug in the blast speed, the gravity field, and the angle of boot, right? Right, so back up here, uh, this bonus video, this video is about 14, 15 minutes long. Uh, I have a proof 
for exactly how to construct the range formula, where it comes from. And furthermore, you can take that range formula and you can solve for the optimal angle to send it at the furthest distance, right? Does anybody know or remember possibly? Suppose you're in baseball throwing contests with your friends. What angle should you throw that baseball to send it the furthest distance? 45 degrees. If you launch it at a 45 degree angle, you have the best chance of winning, right? right. Now, why is it 45 degrees? Uh, that's also in that video right there. Okay. So there you go. It was a little, little bonus video. All right, you guys good? All right. Uh, but the main thing we're here for today is AP Classrooms. So let's switch over to AP 